All right, we're going to put a new water pump impeller in this new old stock 1985 Yamaha six source outboard. That's the new impeller we're going to put in. You replace them because they take a set and they get cracked. So you loosen up. I don't know if this will show up, but there's a nut and a bolt. You loosen this nut and the bolt. Put it in forward gear first. And then take these out and we can take the, the gear case off. This is a 10 millimeter. Nice brand new outboard motor is nice to work on, I'll tell you. It's not like working on an old beater that's been in the water for years that these are all corroded in. You have to eat this with a propane torch to get the bolts out. Kind of nice. Turn them out with my fingers. Okay, all the bolts are out, and then you just pull the lower unit down. That's a little grommet for the water pump tube came out. Make sure that stays in. And then we take off these, and then the impellers underneath in there. Okay, after the bolts are out, you can just lift your impeller cover off and then your impeller is right here and this is on with the key and usually we might need a little screwdriver to pop that up okay the impeller is off you can see how it's taken a set from being jammed in there all those years it doesn't look cracked or split that's the new impeller and the old impeller side by side <laughs> and you can see where there's a little key slot in the impeller that fits that key right there so we'll put a little grease in that shaft and stuff the new impeller on it grease just makes it easier for the next time it needs to be done these impellers are a normal wear replacement item and just so you're not running a dry impeller. Where's the... I always smear a little grease in the... Here, hold the camera for me. In here. Just because it makes it easier to assemble. You don't want to run these impellers dry ever. And then put this back on the shaft. Turn this clockwise. It's in gear so I gotta move the propeller. Turn it clockwise as you push it down. This goes towards the rear of the engine. And I'll put the bolts back in, the new impellers in. And uh, we'll get those in and put it back on the motor. And we got a new water pump. Alright, whether this shows up or not, that's the water tube. And I'm going to put a little, hold light over there, so if you want, and put a little grease on it just to get it to slip in the water pump grommet a little easier. Where the shift shaft goes through. And that is. I can't see up in here. Whoops, I was going to pull the camera up there. Here, let me get the light. There it goes. Alright, so we shoved it up in there, got the water tube and the shift lined up. Get these bolts tightened up, tighten up your shift. I'm going to put a dab up grease on it so it'll come out easier next time in the future. And when I say a dab of grease, I mean you don't need a lot. Okay, when I put it in, I made sure the water tube on Yamahas are pretty easy as the tube goes through a casting. Tighten up these bolts. Tighten up the bolt but not the nut yet, and then shift it. Do you want to hold the camera for me again for a minute, Dad? Yeah. And then I can, you can see how the shift, you know, I tighten up the bolt for the shift thing. And reverse, neutral, forward. So the shift's all good, and then I can tighten up the lock nut. That's oh, done. That's good. And we can take it out and throw it on the rowboat and take it out for a test run. Yeah.
Yeah. Okay, the impeller's in. It's all ready to go. We're going to take it off this boat. We're going to throw down the rowboat and just take it out to the little lake for a little run. Yeah. You ready to do that? I'm ready, Howard. All right, let's do it. All right, we're going to start this motor for the first time. It's 32 years old and brand new. It's in neutral. It's pumped up the primer bulb, turned the, the throttle to where it shows the start. And we'll get it. Give it a pull. Whoops, I think we need to choke it. Maybe turn the choke off. Well, pumping water, I can see it spitting, but it's not even firing. Is there an off switch on it? Yeah, it's right. I don't know if there's another one, but that's like the. I don't know. I don't see anything. Pulled the choke. Pumping water, that's for sure. Now we're running this thing on double oil mix because it's a new motor. Whoops. See that campsite over there, the first one? I want to pour that. motor up a little bit. It's getting oil now. You can see the cloud of smoke bellowing from it. There's dad running his new, brand new 1985 Yamaha. <laughs> How many years does that make it? 30? 32. 32 years old? Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, 32 this year, you know, in 2017. Somebody's watching the video a couple years from now, will even be older. But yeah, first time on the water yeah, since it was brand new. Yeah. First time ever. Yeah, first time in the water. The brand spanking first new motor. Brand spanking 32 year old motor, huh? I don't know the person that owned it originally. I bought it from a fellow that bought it from an estate sale at an auction, estate sale. And he said the person that owned it bought it new, put it in his bedroom, and kept it in his bedroom for all those years till he died. Yeah, well, it looks like it doesn't have a mark on it. No. It looks like it was just manufactured. Sweet running motor, that's for sure. We had our six horse Johnson up in Canada for a week. Walleye fishing up on one of the lakes way up in Canada. And it never missed a beat. In fact, we were eight miles on a two track, and then we put the boat in the water and went five miles across the lake to the cabin. And it was the only, only cabin on the, this entire lake. Stony, let's see, Stony Island Lake, I think is the name of it. Somebody cares to Google it. And it was a, an impoundment for hydroelectric and uh, local walleyes and smallmouth bass. Oh my gosh, I've never caught so many fish. Don't want to run into that shallow sandbar that runs out here. 
the water looks pretty deep right now. Yeah. It's the deepest I've seen it in a while. Yeah. Yeah, there's not much beach here at all. Reverse now? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely backs up. How about that? <laughs> That's pretty good. Put it in reverse, it backs up. I wonder how fast we can go around the lake and back them up. Back and forward. Yeah. Well, it takes right off, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay, we got the motor back on the CNM fishing machine. And uh, if we get time Saturday, we'll take it out and run the boat, and I'll show how the side scan sonar works. If not, another trip up. But that motor really runs sweet, doesn't it? Oh, it does. It does indeed. The Johnson, somewhere around here, the Six Horse Johnson, that runs sweet too. But that was a real nice running motor. I think the Johnson's an 86 is or an 87? Uh, good question. I think it's an 86. Yeah. All right, thank you for watching my videos.